adventure. I'm so excited to be joining you. My name is Miss Elise. It's good to see you again. Today we're gonna be talking about ancient technology called a clepsydra. Do you know what that is? Anybody? No? Well, it's actually just the ancient name for what is called a water clock. And a water clock is super cool but because before we had any clocks that hung on the wall or even the alarm clocks you have in your room or on your phone, we use what were called water clocks to tell time. And some of the oldest water clocks date back to the 14th century, so over a thousand years old. And before we had any technology, that was the only way that we could tell time. Imagine that, right? So I'm gonna show you today how to make your own version of a water clock. And I'm gonna show you some really cool images of ancient water clocks. So here's one from Egypt, and you can see that there's different vessels and they pour into each other to tell time. This is another one from hundreds of years ago as well. So you can see they come in many different forms. And today we're gonna be talking about a specific one that you can make from easy materials that you can find around your house. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, everyone. So we're gonna make our own version of the ancient water clock by using materials you can most likely find around your house. So you can either choose to use a water bottle. Um, for the project, we're gonna cut it in half. So you need the whole water bottle when you're using this option. The other option is you can use um, a jar or just a large cup and a small cup. So the only um, thing you need to remember if you're using this option is they need to fit into each other without sliding all the way down. So see how it has room on the bottom? So you can use something like that or a tall cup like that. Either way works fine. Um, you're also gonna need some water and this is gonna help us to tell time. And you'll need a thumbtack or um, a push pin and for this, you might need some parent help or person help, whoever, whatever adult is around you. Ask them for help with little sharp objects. And then um, you'll need a permanent marker. And if you're using the water bottle option, you'll need some scissors. All right, so now we're gonna actually make our ancient water clock. The first step is if you're using your water bottle, you're gonna cut it in half. So I already did that with mine, but the easiest way to do it is to have your have your parent um, hold some scissors and cut a little slit around the water bottle and then just kind of cut around it to get it in half. And then you'll have two pieces like this. Once you get to this part, you're gonna take off your water bottle cap like this. And this is when you're gonna need your adult or parent help. Um, you're gonna use your push pin and you're gonna push into the bottom of the water cap like this to make a hole. All right, so once you get your hole into your cap, you're gonna screw it back onto your water bottle like that. Awesome. And then we're gonna take your bottom half and your top half and you're gonna put the top half into the bottom like this. Um, if you're using the cup, option you're gonna do the same thing you're putting a hole in the bottom of the cup which i already did and then you're gonna place it into your smaller vessel or larger vessel depending what you choose to use so these are our two ready to go water clocks um, so once you get to that step you're gonna pour in your water um, and before you do that actually you want to get your timer around so i'm kind of cheating and using a new form of technology when I'm doing this, but you can also use a stopwatch or just look at the clock on the wall. So I'm pulling up my stopwatch on my phone like this, and I'm gonna have that ready or you can have somebody else be the timer to help you out with it. All right, so now that you've gotten to this step, we're gonna pour in our water into our water clock and we're gonna have our phone ready so you can press start as soon as you pour it, okay? So go ahead and pour it. All right, and I'm gonna press start on my phone like that. So as you can see, the water is dripping down into the bottom and you wanna wait till your stopwatch reaches one minute. And this is gonna be how we track each of our minutes. So Let's give it a little bit of time, and when we reach a minute, we're gonna get our marker ready and we're gonna mark it off.
Okay, so I actually let my water clock run for two minutes. And the cool thing about the water clock is you can also experiment with what's called the flow of water. So the flow of water changes depending on how big the hole in your water bottle is. So as you can tell for the one on this side, the minutes look really big and chunky because the hole was bigger. So when the water's flowing out of this hole, it's gonna flow out much faster even though it's the same amount of time. So you can see the two marks here for one and two minutes. Versus this bottle, I made the hole much smaller, and so the amount of water flowing out of it is much smaller, which means the minutes are gonna look much smaller. So you can kind of see here, comparing the two minutes on each of the water bottles. So on this one, they're much smaller, on this one, they're much bigger, and it's all dependent on the flow of water coming out of your two holes of your water bottle. Awesome, everyone. So I'm glad that we got to this stage of our project. Remember, as an engineer, you need to double and triple check your work just to make sure it's accurate. So you can always pour out your water and pour it back in and time it again and again to make sure that you've got your minutes on point and you're able to tell accurate time. Um, so yeah, we did it. We created our water clocks. And I'm so glad you joined me on this STEAM adventure. Um, I hope that you'll come to the Anaheim Public Library and check out lots of books on different science experiments and other STEAM projects that you can do so you can keep grow growing your scientists and engineering skills. And we hope to see you soon at the Anaheim Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye!